Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna make a short video about an adapter for the hard drive. So basically I've been to my parents' house and I find my old desktop and um, I recovered the hard drive. And now I want to to see what is there because I had a desktop I think 20 years ago or something like that or maybe 10 if I'm not wrong. Long time ago. And I just wanted to recover the data from, from the hard drive to see I'm pretty sure I have some photos, old photos and memories left on these hard drives and some of my projects from back then. Basically, this is a uh, laptop hard drive and I usually have this type of interface. You just, you just plug it in here, connect it with the USB drive. This one being bigger, being for a um, um, desktop unit, it's not working with this adapter because you need a power source, you need 12 volts, you need more power to spin the hard drive. So what I did today, I bought this interface from Amazon. It was a cheap one, 12 pounds. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but um, yeah, I'll let you know in a minute. All right, so what you get for the money paid? You get the adapter, as you can see, here you have the interface for the hard drive with the power source slot and here you have the power source for it. So I'm gonna plug it in and show you how it's working, if it's working, because I'm not sure 100% it's gonna work. So we'll find out in a minute I guess, because um, usually this stuff when you buy it from Amazon or eBay, um, they sometimes they don't work. So I, I will need to give it a try and see how it's gonna work, if it's gonna work. I hope it's gonna work because I really want to see what it's on this hard drive. It's been for a long time in that uh, desktop unit. I had it for a long time. And it'll be a shame to lose the data. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what data is there, so we'll find out in a minute. Right, the setup of the device is very easy. You just plug it in your hard drive. <clears throat> you got the USB cable here and the power source, as you can see, going inside the interface. So it's pretty basic. It's very easy. Anyone can do it very easy. I, I don't need to show you that on camera, how, how you do it. But since the moment you plug the power source, you plug the cord inside, um, you're going to hear the hard drive spinning, which is a good sign. <laughs> But then uh, you need to be careful when you plug it in and plug it out. You don't want to damage the hard drive. Now, I'm not sure, but these hard drives, they have a lifespan of, I don't know how many years. I, I don't, I'm not sure, I'm not a technical guy in this uh, stuff with hard drives and computers. I'm not that good at this. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah, let's plug it in and see what's gonna say. It's, uh, I'm really curious if the computer is gonna see it. If not, I'm gonna try to take an, um, <clears throat> one of my old laptops, which I used to have it at work. But hopefully we'll get some results. Let's see. I really hope it'll see. Nah. Unfortunately, it's not gonna take it on my computer. Let me try something else, something different here. Okay. Let's see. Oh, there you go. Something there is happening. There you go. Oh, okay. There you go. We got the partitions. We got everything. I have access to my data on... Uh, on this hard drive so I can access all the folders that have been there a long time ago which is very nice which was exactly what I was looking for so 12 pounds will cost to the device from Amazon very cheap fast delivery and it's working if you're planning to do something like this you can actually use this hard drive as an external hard drive I'm not planning to do that I just plan to recover the data from it to see what I have on the hard drive and uh, see, maybe I, I have some lost memories. I'm very sorry for the quality of the video. I needed to do this with my phone. 
but uh, yeah stay close and um, wait for the next video which will come up very shortly and I hope it will be interesting for you thank you